We know you started training in Okinawa, you came to the States. How did you get involved with Bruce Lee? We know you spent some time training with him. How did that come about? What it was like to train with Bruce Lee? Well, see, jumping back real fast to Bruce, I was over at a magazine called Black Belt Magazine mm -hmm. one day, and he came running outside and tried to talk me into taking lessons from him. I had seen him in 1967 at the United States National Karate mm -hmm. Championships mm -hmm. up in Washington, D.C., but at the time, I didn't think very much of Kung Fu or Kung Fu really? practitioners. That was his base, Kung Fu from China. Yeah, so usually the kickboxers destroy most of the Kung mm -hmm. Fu experts inside mm -hmm. of not one round, but inside of 30 seconds. It, it doesn't really stand a chance against full contact right. fighting. But anyway, we had a real interesting relationship. I found mm -hmm. him to be very charming, extremely intelligent, and very, very creative. And right. I had a lot of fun working with mm -hmm. him. We did a tremendous amount of research. He improved my skills tremendously. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you had a lot to offer him also. I know he's a lot smaller than you. That was my next question. Um, you said before you were, you were big, you were stronger, you were fast already, you had some inherent qualities. Then why karate? I mean, you didn't need karate to defend yourself. What appealed to you about karate? Well, let's see. <laughs> That's a hard one to answer. I originally had already always been sort of a, attracted to the aesthetic appeal that mm -hmm. the martial arts right. had to offer. Also, I guess we're all looking for some sort of little magic injection of mm -hmm. some type of uh, self-confidence we can gain from it or any degree of efficacy we can develop on either a mental level or a physical level right. or the combination. Mm -hmm. And basically an overall feeling of just uh, feeling better about myself, yeah. improving my self-esteem, hopefully finding or discovering something there that I can use to carry over into other contexts. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. For example, like the kids today that get involved in martial arts. Right. A lot of them not only go home and, and have better behavior mm -hmm. and they're better disciplined at home, right. but they're improving their grade average. Mm -hmm. There's a little and, more to it than just the sport. And there's a lot of uh, special cases work with uh, hard people who have problems like with learning disabilities mm -hmm. and right. so forth mm -hmm. were getting involved in the martial arts and so forth has improved Super. people dramatically. Well, um, came back to the States and got involved in the acting Hollywood. Mm. Made some movies, appeared on many television shows. I know you co-hosted the Merv Griffin Show. Did you use martial arts and your karate training and your reputation as a martial artist as a stepping stone into Hollywood, or was it something that you've always wanted to do? Well, something I'd always wanted to do. I was taking acting lessons when I first came back from Okinawa in 1965. That's a long time ago. It's something I always wanted to do. I was always very interested in it. And uh, what had happened was, uh, back there around 1971, 17, 73, there became a big upsurge in the interest factor in martial mm -hmm. arts. And right. since Little I boom. was a world karate champion and some of the producers liked my looks, they said, mm -hmm. hey, let's take that boy and put yeah. him on some TV shows or let's take him and put him in some uh, martial art films. I did not at that time want to do martial art films because uh, they had a bad reputation. Right, well in those days, sure. <laughs> Okay, um, well, we're going to take a look at a clip from one of your films now. Okay. Uh, America Cinema's Force 5. Why don't you set this up for us? Okay, I don't know exactly what's this uh, particular cl clip, but basically the movie was about a group of hand-picked specialty experts who were sent into this uh, religious commune to uh, c capture or to bring back some of the uh, people who were being held against their mm -hmm, will. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Force 5. Okay, well, if I recall, this scene is where you all are going to breakfast and your students jump you. Oh, the morning this, ritual. Okay, I see what you're saying. We'll take a look at it. Actually, a cup of coffee back at the house would be sufficient. Everybody should start the day off with a good breakfast. Care to lead? Uh-uh. <laughs> 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 
Bill's the appetite, Becker.